is now nearing the end of summer and I wanted to do a lot of projects in my backyard. Unfortunately, most of these projects required having more soil. Given that I'm partnered up with Soilworks, I think I might hit them up for some soil. Let's go do that now. I'm writing to them right now and I'll be asking for a few cubic meters of soil and I just realized their trucks come with three compartments which allows you to select up to three different products and they won't be mixing with each other so I might just do that. Since I am going for a gritty mix, I would definitely be asking for some pebbles to go with that soil. I normally do a 1 is to 4 mix but I figured I could be using those pebbles somewhere else like top dressing and I don't know. So I guess I'll just be going for a higher ratio this time. And another thing, I'll be splitting the soil between the front and the, and the back garden. Maybe a cubic meter for each section would be perfect. I'll go with that for now. Let's go do it. You know what's more fun than just waiting for my order to arrive? It's seeing how things are prepared. So maybe let's head over to Soilworks and see how they do it. Soilworks has a number of soil facilities around Victoria. And I went to the nearest one, which is at Deer Park. And according to the brochure, Soilworks have a fleet of over 30 trucks delivering six days a week to Melbourne Metro, Greater Melbourne, Geelong, and surrounding areas, all with live delivery tracking. They also provide a 3 for 1 delivery deal. All you have to do is order any three bulk products to a maximum of 10 cubic meters for just $44. And this applies to Metro Melbourne suburbs only. So the way it works, one compartment has a capacity of 4 cubic meters and the other two have a capacity of 3 cubic meters each. And mine was a relatively small order of 2 cubic meters of garden soil, 1 cubic meter of drainage coria, and 1 cubic meter of kids play mulch. Nowhere near capacity. Alternatively, you can pick up yourself if you have a ute or a trailer. Just bring it into one of their yards and they can load the products for you. I did mention the fleet and, and they have all sorts of trucks. They have trucks with various capacities. They go as low as 5 cubic meters, 8 cubic meters, and 15 cubic meters. They do have a minimum delivery requirement for bulk products and that's one at least 1 cubic meter of one product. However, it seems that you are allowed to go for small increments above that first cubic meter. So for instance, you could do a 1.5 cubic meter order and they would gladly do it for you. While they do deliver most of the products in their range, there are some items that they won't deliver because they require some specialized machinery to unload. For more details, you can read up on it on their website, the link is provided down below, or give them a call at 1300 Soilworks. Much like the Soilworks Selection Center, the soil facility is very neat and organized. Everything's arranged into tidy compartments. You can find all of the soils in one section. And in another, just mulches. And in one row, you can see rocks. You can see how much they value efficiency with everything so streamlined. And for a place that has soil in its name, everything's so clean. Even the trucks are clean.
lots of piles behind me. Looks like I know what I'm doing this weekend. This episode has been sponsored by Soilworks and I would definitely recommend these guys for any of your landscaping needs. This pile here is half of my order of garden soil. This is about one cubic meter. I think the other half is back in the front. If, if you foresee that you have large landscaping projects and you would need at least a cubic meter of soil, then I would definitely recommend having them delivered in bulk because I did the maths. I used to buy lots of 25 liter bags of soil in my local big box store and each one of those bags, the cheapest ones go for about $2, $2.45 each and to get to about a cubic meter, you would need 40 of those 25 liter bags and 25 liters, 40 pieces of two $45 bags is about $98 at this price, you could almost get 2 cubic meters of garden soil Consider the, the cost of delivery and Solworks charges a flat rate of $44, $44 per delivery. And as you know, I'm planning to work on this area and that's why I have the, the soil dumped over here. But I, ha I have another good news for you. We're going to clear up the area extending all the way to the end of the fence. Because we're now nearing the end of summer and these plants are going to die anyway uh, upon winter. And what we intend to do is to move all our veggies to one side of the garden. So that means, for me, I would have more space to play with over at this side. Mm. I'll be talking more about this expansion in a future episode, so watch out for it. Hey, look at these babies. They're looking a lot better now. It's time once again for shoutouts. As always, I'm really grateful to my patrons over at Patreon. And I would like to and I would like to thank Oscarino, Julie Seal, and Snap Kui for supporting me in this journey. So as you can tell, I've got lots of content coming up and I, I keep talking about it, but but after summer I'll be doing a lot of work again in the garden. Because I'm just waiting for the weather to be a, a bit more tame. I'm waiting for the wind to die down. It's windy outside. Is it over? Nope. There's still some wind. You can stop now. You can stop now. Ah. Ah. You can check out patreon.com slash seriescapades, the link is down below. You can use that to pledge your support for this channel, no obligation at all. You just watching this episode is enough support for me. And as I mentioned in earlier parts of this video, I'll be working in more sections in the garden and that means lots more content coming up. And I'm really excited for summer to end because it means that it will be less harsh on the plants and I would be able to work creatively with a lot of them. Especially the ones that are dormant at the moment, specifically the eight. And I keep saying this, the aeoniums are dormant in summer. So once it gets a bit cooler here, I would be able to start working on them. Because I need to do a lot of trimming, chopping, and you know, just generally just moving them around. And it's best to do that when they're awake. And earlier I mentioned that we're going to expand a bit more at the back. So I'll be showing you my plans in another episode because right now they are, you know, they are all just fuzzy ideas in my head at the moment. But I have a few ideas and I would, I can't wait to share them with you. I'll just have to, I'll just have to flesh them out a bit first. So, so watch out for that episode.
but I'd be really interested in any of your suggestions. You might have something that you want to see. And if it, and if it happens to coincide with any of my ideas, then I'll definitely do it. Apart from that, I really enjoy doing the viewer question videos, so keep your questions coming and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.